Steve, talk me through these approaches when you come into the backcountry here. What do you like to fly like on uh, on downwind, base, and so forth, speed-wise? What are you thinking about? Well, I'm usually not thinking. I'm just doing. <laughs> um, you know, I, like I pulled on a notch of flaps right now to slow things down a little bit. Got my car heat on. Put my prop in because I've got a constant speed prop. What do you like to? What do you find you like to fly back here in these strips uh, on downwind? Oh, I'm probably coming, I'm probably doing 60 or 70, but then I'm just kind of using a le wings level approach. Okay, I'm a little tight on you, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fly a little longer down, but that shouldn't cause any issues, should it? Not at all. So it's kind of a blind approach here, coming in. I lost track of Steve, but I know where he is. He's around this corner. I gotta slip a little bit. I didn't get as low as I needed to. Fun, there's fun coming in here. Man, that is just so much fun. That is so much fun. I love that approach coming through that uh, ravine, following you through that was kind of blind, making the turn. That's, that's a ton of fun right there. Yeah, but you know, and then you, I mean, it looks like a ch like you'd have a challenging runway after that, but you just, it's just a really neat approach to a, a runway anybody can land on, which is what's really cool about it. Well, Steve, uh, talk us through what do you, what do you like to do takeoff wise uh, here in the backcountry? I mean, this you get a long 3,000 foot strip, low density altitude. So, what are you thinking on this takeoff? Do you like to use a little bit of lift flaps? Do you go no flap on this? Um, but given the fact that the winds are a little bit squirrely, I'm going to shoot for more airspeed. So, I may uh, choose not to use flaps on this takeoff. There's plenty of runway to take off from here. Um, you know, one consideration might be a back taxi just to not be too noisy over the other end of the runway. And yeah, I love that, you, that you're factoring in not just the takeoff stuff, but the whole uh, stewardship kind of thing, noise considerations for the neighbors, that kind of thing. See, what kind of spacing on uh, takeoff roll do you guys usually uh, take when you're doing these kind of formation type stuff? I like to leave a little bit of angle, thinking about where the wind is coming from. I mean, if Super Cup puts off a pretty good chunk of wake turbulence, and you get knocked around pretty good, especially if you're in too tight. So, uh, you know, I like to leave uh, 500 feet, 750 feet for me. So you wait till about the guy in front of you breaks ground. Is that is that about the right takeoff spacing, or? Yep, generally speaking, or maybe even a little more. You know, is up when he's 50 feet off the ground or something like that. And one's departing. And Richard, if you look straight ahead past that water tower, you'll see kind of a, a blank spot on the hill. That's the entrance to the strip. I'm gonna make a low approach over the runway just to get a feel for what uh, it might be like down there to see if it's a good idea. Not bad when you're down in here, a little bumpy on the approach. Okay, I'll try that. Uh, I'm about to embarrass myself here because I think I lost the strip. Yeah, it looked like you were getting a little far south. I think I got it. No, I think you're going the wrong direction now. Isn't that it? Isn't that it at my left end? Yeah, it's at your 10 now. Um, yeah, you can approach it that way. <laughs> I like the way you said that.
Lucas, I don't know about you, but this is the first time I've ever flown with a former Thunderbird. I'll tell you what, this is one of the uh, funner formations I've been in. It's a ton of fun. And obviously, just looking at it, it's good go-around options either either direction. We're going to lose some of this wind below these trees, I suspect. Decent crosswind and some gusts down here, so just stay sharp. I'm getting kicked around pretty good. Yeah, I got a pretty good cross here on final. That's a pretty good crosswind there, Steve. Lucas, heads up. I had full aileron keeping the wing down there once I got pretty much touchdown. Really? 